Hello, this is Dr. Ramon Ganem from Sadala Mingani Eye Hospital in Brazil, and I'm going to present you a case uh, that a perforation occurred during trephination. As you can see, after a few attempts to do the trephination, my fellow has lost the number of turns that should be performed not to perforate this cornea. Each complete turn on the barren tree fine gives you 200 microns of uh, trephination. So usually in DALC we perform 400 micron trephination to avoid perforations, as you can see in this case here. So now what to do? Should you convert this case? No, you should not convert it. Conversions are rarely necessary in dog surgery when you have the right techniques to perform it. First thing you have to do is to find where is the perforation and then you may fill the anterior chamber with viscoelastic here with methylcellulose and then you have to do your best to remove the most trauma you can. Sometimes a complete stroma removal may be achieved. Close to the area of trephination where you have no perforation you may perform a deep tunnel that achieves uh, the central stroma where you can inject air and try to form the bubble. Here you can see the bubble is achieved and this may facilitate the conclusion of the surgery as a dog surgery. As you can see this perforation also is a superior one which is an easier perforation to get a block by air tamponade. Now I'm injecting viscoelastic inside the bubble and I'm removing the anterior stroma. This may allow the exposure of the duos layer or the predecimate layer. The final step is to remove the posterior stroma. In this case, I prefer to remove the stroma in the central area completely and just partially in the peripheral area. Finally, a complete stroma removal is achieved in the central cornea and some stroma is left in the periphery. In this final step, I'm debulking this peripheral stroma just to leave a thin layer of posterior stroma. In terms of vision, there is no advantage to completely remove the peripheral stroma. Finally, the graft is put in place and sutured. At the end of the surgery, Air fills the anterior chamber, some liquid and air is stepped out from the interface and finally a 50% air fill is left in the eye.